Thanks for logging into MyFoxHurricane.com and a happy 4th of July to you as well. You know, June, of course, we had multiple storms, albeit weak ones that did form in June. Remember, July doesn't get much more activity than June typically gets. Only about 8% of all the named storms in the hurricane season happen in July. Then, of course, then it starts to get active August, September, October at that point. But when we get into July, as far as climatology still goes, you kind of still open the Gulf of Mexico up for development, but we also open up parts of the southeastern coast of the United States over there along the Gulf Stream, where sometimes we can get some development as well. Name storm still predicting about 12 to 17, so a little bit above average. Seven hurricanes, three major hurricanes. The developing El Nino, of course, the big reason um, that they've knocked some of these numbers down. But it's interesting because the sea surface temperatures are so high. And then you've got these winds, which are going to make it a bit hostile in the main development region as we get into the, you know, August, September, October. So it'd be kind of interesting to see how it sets up. Typically higher wind shear would equal fewer storm threats. But again, we just talked about how these sea surface temperatures are so far above average, which would kind of indicate maybe a stronger season or more storms. So over the course of the next few months, we're going to kind of see which one of these wins out. I can tell you this. For the next several days, up to at least a week, things look to stay quiet in the tropics. No major waves rolling off the coast of Africa. In fact, there's a lot of dry air there as well. Nothing in the Caribbean or the Gulf. So just enjoy your holiday, and thanks for checking in.